Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech and I recently came across this keyboard slash button mapper app. I use it to remap my volume keys to perform various functions and it can remap your volume keys and other physical connected keys. And I thought you guys might find it interesting. So I decided to do this video about it. So if you do end up finding it interesting, do make sure you turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So let me go ahead, walk you through how this app works. So guys, first things first, this app is under development and it mostly works. It can be a little finicky at times though. I have tested it out with multiple phones, but your mileage might vary. So to help others out, if you do end up trying it out for yourself, just leave a comment with your phone's model and how it worked for you in the comments below. Maybe it would help somebody save time. Anyway, once you download and install the keyboard slash button mapper app, you have to enable it under accessibility services. And then enable the input service method. Just follow the prompts. That's all you need to do. Now hit that plus at the bottom. So first I'm going to set long press volume up to toggle the flashlight. So that's the first thing I'm going to do here. So tapping choose action. Moving to the other tab, let me scroll down, tapping toggle flashlight, back, and now I'm going to hit record trigger. Now this is going to let me record whatever button I want to press. The volume up is what I want. I'm going to hit stop recording trigger. Next, tap on select flags and select long press. Also vibrate if you want haptic feedback for the action. That is if you want a vibrating haptic feedback when the flashlight turns on and off. Okay and okay. Now before we are done, see that little red action before the toggle back flashlight? This action requires camera permission. Depending on what you want done, if there is any issue, it shows up here and it needs to be fixed. So how do you fix it? Quite simple, just hit fix, allow, done. Hit the tick mark to the top right, there you go. Volume up, flash on, flash off, flash on, flash off, done. Now next, let me show you another example. I'm gonna have volume down to lock the phone. So plus, choose action. Other, secure lock device. Now, just like the last time, record trigger, but this time choosing volume down, stop recording trigger, going into flags, long press and vibrate. Okay, okay, again, like I said, same as last time. Now hit fix. Activate, see how fix change depending on the action. Hit the check mark, the volume down and boom, the display is off. So guys, this was a little something I found interesting and I kind of found useful and I thought I'd share it with you guys. Let me know if you did find it useful too. And also as requested, please do let me know how it worked out with your phone in the comments below. And if you like the tip and wanna see more, more quick little tips like this, Please thumbs up and subscribe. Also turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. I guess that's it for this quick video. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.